my vision, my naive vision of this business was my husband has a heated workshop in the back of our house where he can tinker with his things. This is going to be like my tinkering shop. I'm going to make a cheesecake. I'm going to make a cake for friends. I'm going to make some cupcakes. And never had I never ever planned for this. What's up, friends? I'm here with the world famous oh, Nia Han. <laughs> We're at Whisk and Arrow Sugar Studio. And not only are we gonna tell you what they do and how they do it, but you're gonna get an inside look on uh, inside the mind of Nia and Whisk and Arrow. So here it is. Whisk and Arrow is a bakery that makes pretty much everything from scratch. The only thing we don't make here from scratch is we don't make our croissants from scratch. We purchase them, make them to us frozen. They are 100% butter, just like everything else we make. But other than that, sauces, custards, jams, we crack every single egg here. And that nowadays is very hard to find. Um, luckily, there are a few other places in the area that are also going back to making things from scratch. And that is so refreshing because we can't take any more Cisco scones. <laughs> is that what you guys wanted to be known for? What was like, what was the concept when you first started? I didn't, I didn't even have a plan. I just wanted to bake and I wanted to bake the way I bake for my family at home. And I wanted to bake the way I couldn't find baking around here. I've lived in some pretty big cities and I moved here from California where I was used to being able to just walk into a French pastry shop and just getting something fresh and from scratch. And when I moved here, I, I went to a lot of different places. You know, it, it's different. I mean, I love donuts, you know, but every once in a while you just want something different, you know, and, and I couldn't find any of that here. So Whiskanero was born out of my necessity to bake and also because the market needed a place that sold fresh things. <laughs> So the plan was just to bake, man. I didn't really have a plan, <laughs> you know. We bought this building and we were like, okay, we're just gonna start a little bakery. My vision, my naive vision of this business was my husband has a heated workshop in the back of our house where he can tinker with his things. This is gonna be like my tinkering shop. Uh, I don't even know if I remember. I knew that I was going to sell chocolate chip cookies because I am not very humble about this. I think that we make the best chocolate chip cookies ever. I started making macarons, I remember, because I always had a hand for macarons. So I started selling macarons and some cookies, and then I started taking custom orders for cakes and things like that. Sometimes I'm looking at pictures from three years ago and I go like, oh my gosh, you know, it was so empty. The, the, it was like three flavors of macarons, you know, and now it's like 16, 18. I think sweets are always there, you know, since I was little, it was always me and my grandma making cookies and it was always uh, birthday parties, let's make a cake, let's make brigadeiros. Brigadeiros are the little caramels, we sell them here every once in a while. There's not a time constraint on sweets. You know, it's not like, oh, it's noon now, let's have some sweets. It's, hey, you're depressed, eight o'clock in the morning and you need a cookie? Right here, have a cookie, no, I'm not judging you. Or it's midnight and you just partied hard and you go back to your apartment and you guys want some cookies. There's, you know, like there's no time. Oh, it's dinner. It's, you can have a treat anytime. And so I do have a sweet tooth, a little bit of a sweet tooth, but I think it's more, it's the flexibility of, you know, you can make people happy. If your friends are in the hospital and they need a macaron, you take them some macarons. And I never thought about it like that. I don't, I don't really know why. I've always baked. I always baked and that was the, always the way I connected with people. It was baking and sharing what I baked, you know. Do I really have real friends or they just want me for my sweets? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Nia's so fun. If you've met her, if you've tried her treats, you'll definitely know and be able to second that. If you're looking for macarons, the best cakes, amazing treats, you gotta follow up with Whisk and Arrow. They will be moving locations 
here in the next year or so. So keep up to date with that. But they are right here in Appleton and I definitely recommend it. The macarons are fantastic. And I learned quite the process. I'm Evan Frymuth with Venture Wisconsin. Please get out there, make the most of your day. The greatest adventure still lies ahead.